And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that octagon. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, ready to go for round one, and to the surprise of some, he won his last fight by submission. So with momentum, he enters this, the highest profile spot of his career, trying to keep that obvious momentum going. Can he realize the UFC title shot by... Understand Havgard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Way to hide that leg kick. Beautiful level change leads to the take on the mat. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing. Well, maybe cranking the neck a little bit. The question is, can he get that rear naked choke? He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking. Because he's getting and choked. he's out. Back to his feet. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Well, you see all the grappling repetition. Jiu-Jitsu, Jim, Jim, around the country. Well, he's up. It didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 30 seconds now to go in round one. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on B Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. and it shows. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Right under the elbow, body keep land. He landed that punch flush. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice leg kick land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, body left the fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ryan. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. To our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. To get up. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, a huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem engaging on him. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Some really good ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, feet on the hips here. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here. Well, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. And this might just be a matter of time. Look at him, he's starting to flash. Oh my goodness, he did it. He slams him down, using straight power to escape that triangle. So great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality. Yeah. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 47 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch man, man who has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh, wow. Oh. He's got one hand in, one hand out. Now you're looking for defensively. Oh, no, it's possible. Oh, 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 Submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He's trying to put himself back in that position, but maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah. Oh, man. Take it for a ride. Not Fighters back to their feet here, and he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the tape. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Oh! He might get a finish here. Now he's okay. Now he's in the skate. Oh, man. Notice how he's walking him over 
to try to get a windshield choke. Oh, nice. Excuse me? Windshield choke. A windshield choke. He took the arm with him. You usually see this in grappling competitions with the gi, John. A lot of downward pressure here, DC. with a windshield choke in an octagon fight. That's amazing. I don't sign the bonus checks, but you're rocking a windshield choke in the octagon. You gotta think 50 G's coming his way. I mean, that's very, very rare and very hard to pull off without wearing a gi. Holy smokes! What a performance! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 42 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by tap out and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Wow. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion. And as he celebrates in the corner, you can't help but think. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is 15 years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here for... All right, we are just about ready to go with this UFC championship fight. He won his last fight by submission. So that bears watching stylistically in this matchup here tonight. Can he do it again? He said, if I got to go five, five whole rounds, I'm not afraid to do so. But obviously, the focus yet again is on the finish. He believes there will be some openings that he can capitalize. So let's get underway. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Starts landing the right hand. You have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heel on the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Gets up, he is back on the feet here. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, single collar tie here. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Stop. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, nice. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. 
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? Going for the arm here. Watch out for that. Oh. He's going to turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Full guard here, DC. What is it? Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. Straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official Dan decision. Ladies and gentlemen, called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Bye. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunting. He remains as such congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. and form this round.